Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh look, I'm a dummy. I forgot to put the plug wire back on. <laughs> Alright, let's um this little dish here. Let's see what I get out of the carburetor. And uh I'm just gonna pull the uh, the whole bowl off. Oh, you know, there's a little bowl drain screw, but I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Oh man. Looks like rust and uh, water. A little yellow jacket nest in there. I wanted to get the rest of that out, but I don't, I don't see that happening. I might have to take the tank off to get all. You know, actually, this probably isn't fair. I have a cheat code. You cheated back. I have a brand new tank here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this might be a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's get the carburetor off. And, uh, 210 millimeter. Fantastic. Yeah, there's some. Guys, almost looks like oil inside the carburetor. We'll get a closer look. See what that looks like. Is it helping or making it worse? It's making it worse. Yep, pretty schmooey. So uh, this thing's got to come off. So I'll take the. Start taking it apart, I guess. I need a spare pliers to get this fuel line off. Yep, that's uh, it's going real smoothly. Is anything coming out of that? Nothing at all. It looks fine. Okay, well let's clean that and then I think what I'm gonna do is just take this um that's one of the hard bolts to get the tank off and then those two bolts there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Those are two ten millimeter bolts, and this one here is a Eight millimeter or five sixteenths. Dally, mom, Annie. Let me get a socket. Hmm. Where did that go? There it is. great I'm glad I have another one and stubborn spider webs
there we go it's a better shot of what that looks like inside there so all right oh, ah. I imagine not everybody has this option but this tank can you get a look in there yeah that's what it should look like huh yeah, there we go there we go barely this tank's like in perfect condition oh it's never been ran this was off the off of uh that engine behind the guitar all right guys um got the carburetor and uh we're gonna try to clean it there's a lot of this green stuff can you see that it's weird so i got um Flathead screwdriver, one that's uh, thin enough to fit down and get the main jet out. And I think that's all we're going to need. Uh, there was a 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom that's already removed. So we'll start by, everyone knows how to do this, right? Pull the pin out. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> look at the stuff on here. Very, very dirty. Okay, um, oh, I guess I need a Phillips, too. I was wrong. If that thing's that bad, I, do, I gotta get every every uh, nook and cranny of this guy. So we'll take the oil cut off off. Off off. That's weird. Move the choke there. That just thing just sitting there. Air filter holds it on. Oh, yes. Like I said, I don't think this thing's ever been a part. I'm pretty sure they ran it, and then for some reason, it, uh, gosh, probably water. Look at that. It's, it's t I'm sorry. It's torn here. Okay, I guess you need a Phillips and a skinny flathead and a little pick. Boy, this thing is... Pretty messed up. I think this is a classic case of fuel rotting. Wow. Well, okay, well, there's that. Take off the idle screw. And then under the idle screw is the what, pilot jet or idle circuit. I don't know what it's called. If it's plugged, <clears throat> your machine won't idle. I usually use a flathead here. This little tiny prize. It's an O-ring in there. There is a jet in this, in the plastic. Boy, this one. Not, it's not coming out very good. Nope! <laughs> and then it just flies out. Let's take a look at that guy. I got a light over here. Huh? I don't know. It doesn't look that bad, really, besides uh, all the funkiness. All right, I got some uh, brake parts cleaner. Move all this stuff over here. And then I got a chemical brush. Let's see if we can get this thing looking a lot nicer. Do the float bowl, too. Look at that. It's like uh, straight up dirt or sawdust. And it just. Kind of brushes out. Weird. And I think that's why this thing had either somebody put old fuel in it or it had fuel in it so long it just did this. Oh no! First casualty broke the wave washer. I have to look at my carburetor hoard. I'm pretty sure I have one. If not, I don't know what you'd do. You'd, I don't know. Maybe you could get a rebuild kit and it would come with that. I doubt it. So I'm just going to do the body right, right now. 
and then um, we'll do all the internal passages after I get the outside clean. Um, it's weird, these carburetors usually clean right up, and uh, as long as you get everything and don't forget something, they'll work, uh, even if they've been through a lot. I'm leaving the O-ring in there. I don't want to mess with it. It seems really crunchy, and I don't think I have any more of those. Boy, there was smell vision this thing. You got to smell it. it. Smells um bad. I think that's the word. Yeah. We've got to get out of this stench. No, stench. Oh, what speakers thou? Okay, I got the outside mostly clean. Let's start doing the passages. This is an idle circuit. Boy, that's really plugged. That's crazy. There we go. Well, yeah. Clean the side of the shop. Main needle and seat area. That's the other. The second passage in here, one comes from here and one goes right to the needle and seat. Let's see which one that is. I gotta get this uh, main jet and emulsion tube out. Let's see. Oh my god. It almost felt like it wasn't gonna go. This is what I think what kills the carburetors when you can't get this stuff out. In the emulsion tube, or pilot, I don't know, I think it's emulsion tube. You, it's, you can see it on the inside. That little brass tube there. You just stick a screwdriver in there and push on it. It should come really easy, this one did. And then bang it. Boom, there it is. And this is the one that makes it run nice through the RPM range. This one's really dirty, look at that build up on there. Blow this guy out, try to at least. See what happens. Oh yeah, that's going good. Get at least physically clean. The staining is it's just that staining. It's not gonna affect the the operation of the thing. Here's the main jet. And now this thing is Super plugged, you can take a piece of a wire brush or something and jam down in there. But we'll see what happens here. Whoa. See how plugged it is? It squirted right back at me. Wow, that thing is plugged. Let's get something. I'll find a, a thing and we'll probe that out. Here's some uh, guitar strings. Yeah, it's an electric guitar set. Sometimes the acoustic sets have a really thin, uh, can you see that? It's like a wound string. So, let's see if we can get this through there. Oh yeah, boom. Listen. Guitar strings are great for this. If you're a guitar player. And if you are a guitar player, you should be replacing your strings. <laughs> I know a lot of guys who play guitar that leave strings on for years at a time. Okay, let's try this again. There. Right up to end. Here we go. Pilot jet thingy. Like I said, there's little jets. There's a pass-through passage. Right there. So what I'll do is put my finger over the other side. Now see it's, there's a little orifice here. It's really plugged. So we'll go again to the guitar string. This time one of the smaller, well that's a B string. Let's try the E string. Oh, there we go. Just barely enough to push that schmoo out of there. Now this this thing wouldn't have idled if I didn't do this. It would have just only ran on choke. 
So if you have a, an engine that runs on choke only, this is what's plugged. It's the second time I got myself in the face. And I can't see what I'm doing now. Okay, here we go. Plug that hole again. There. Take a little squirt gun. All right. So let me, uh, let me freshen this area up and uh, clean this up, get it organized. We'll put it back together. Yeah, okay. I've dug through my uh, carburetor bucket. This looks like this. Small engine carbs, Briggs and Predator. Okay. And I have found... This is the same carburetor that I was cannibalizing last time. This one is missing the emulsion tube. So, I feel it's okay to <laughs> uh, pull parts off of it. I think this is a... I don't know what this is. Yeah, see, it's not a Predator. I think it's a 3.5 horse Predator uh, unit. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But it should have our wave washer. Okay, and there's our prize. Oop, seems to be fine. Is it the same size? Uh, yes, it is. Of course it is. Okay. I'll just put this together enough to stick it back into bucket. I forgot to clean the float earlier, so we'll do that real quick. I'm just going to go over here and spray it. I'm going to take this little brush and do this stuff with it. The needle looks fine. There's a little kind of tiny bit of a, can you see, there's like kind of a little tiny bit of a groove. I think it'll be okay. These things don't normally have problems. So it's funny because the Honda, which this copies, does. Burp. It's kind of cold in here today. It's about 45 Fahrenheit, which is awesome. Okay. It's cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, I kind of touched this up a little bit. There was a couple of, you know, like this stuff. Still clinging on cobwebs. So we'll start with the emulsion tube. Make sure it's nice and clean. It's stained, but it's clean, so it should be fine. Here's our cleaned out jet, which is also stained, but it should also be fine. When, if not, I have another factory jet that around here somewhere. A little snuggy snug. And this guy next with a little pin this thing sits like this so you want the bowl floating pointing out the drain I mean sometimes these things you won't start you just drain the crap out of the float bowl and then let it fill up with new fresh gas from the tank and it'll start right up and run fine that's a very neat little trick this one you can rotate these and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna install it like this Flip, I'm, what I'm doing is flipping it over and 180 My foot's sticking to the floor. I wonder if the carb clean is melting my shoe. Probably. That seems okay. On well, this thing, there's your valve. So that goes down. And our new wave washer. This wave washer doesn't exactly fit. But it will have to do. 
Let's just take a look at this again before I just jam this thing together. Oh man, I'm going to break this one now. Okay, I'm just kind of jammed it on there. It is a little tight using the three and a half horse one, but I think it'll be fine. I've done uh, I've done worse to get home from the side of the road when I was young and was driving a pile of crap car. It seems fine. Tightening down all the way. I think that's going to be okay. Alright, now we'll do this little idle jet. Sometimes these things can be a pain. <clears throat> so I'll sometimes... Screwdriver it. And you can see I don't have it seated all the way. Get a fingernail in there. I want to make sure it goes all the way. Much better. Plastic idle screw, which is totally cool. And I'll just make a guess. And, um, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Let's do a little test. Okay, well, that works. Let's test the float. Yep, so I can blow through it like this when the float's hanging. And when I turn it upside down, the float falls. It's sealed. Okay. That's it. Let's put it back on the, on the engine. Maybe ask somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't know. Whoa. How does this go? Oh, yeah. Come on, I need to film it. 